This video will show you how to create bullet holes in Godot. So you want just a new prefab, a new instance of a scene, and you can just make it a mesh instance. And you can just have this be nothing, and then you can have a, another mesh instance inside that, and just make it a cylinder. This is going to actually be the VFX of the bullet hole. And then you want a timer node, and you don't need to give that any name, and just set the amount of time you want to wait for over here in the inspector. In the script, you can just reference this timer here and say on timer timeout. You can just delete the bullet hole, so... It isn't wasting resources on rendering the bullet hole. And then in our gun script, we want to have a function called spawn bullet hole. We also want to have a variable all the way up here. It's just a reference to that bullet hole prefab. And then we can go back to our bullet hole function. And we can just say var new bullet hole is equal to bullet hole dot instance. And then we can get the object that our shoot cast is colliding with, and then we can add that bullet hole object to the collider that the shoot cast collides with. And then we want to set the translation of the bullet hole to the point that the shoot cast collides with. So you can just say shoot cast dot get collision point. You want to have two vector threes var surface dir up. Also. You could say var surface direction up, and you can just set this equal to a vector 3 with 0, 1, and 0. And then you can do the same thing but for down, and just make this number negative. And then you can say if shootcast.get collision normal is equal to surface dir up, you could just say new bullet hold dot look at, and then you can just set to look at the location. And then you can do the same thing for all other surfaces. So you can just copy paste this code into your own script. I'm going to have it shown on screen for a few seconds. Okay, so that should be enough time. And then you can go to your shoot function. You want to say if shoot cast dot is colliding, you and just reference this spawn bullet hole function, and that should work. So if I go ahead and play the game, we can see that spawns bullet holes. And after about 45 seconds, we should see these bullet holes start to disappear. Still waiting. So it's been over 45 seconds, and the bullet holes haven't despawned. Um, there's multiple possibilities. Um, I forgot to click the auto start and the timer node. And I'm just going to reduce this time just for the purposes of this tutorial. So I'm going to play again. Play. And then after 5 seconds, we should see the bullet hole despawn. Okay, so you just saw the bullet hole despawn. So, if your bullet hole's not despawning, just make sure to click auto start. That was the problem for me. But if you like this video, be sure to leave a like. If you're feeling extra generous, be sure to subscribe. Helps our channel, helps get content like this recommended to others. That's all from me for now. Fun Huber, out.